Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my May wrap up as May has just ended and I wanted to share with you some thoughts on the seven books that I read in the month of May. Really happy with the seven books. I read a lot more fantasy than usual um, this past month, which I guess is why I read less than I did in April. Um, contemporary for me is just sort of easier to get through. I get through it faster and um, therefore I can complete more books. But um, I really enjoyed everything I read this month or this past month and I am excited to share with you my thoughts. So let's get straight into it. The first book that I read in the month of May was Undercover Bromance by Lissa K. Adams. This is a book that's the sequel to the Bromance Book Club, which I read earlier this year. Um, and I really liked the sequel. I think I liked it more than the first book, which is saying something. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, basically follows a group of guys who are struggling in their relationships with the women that are important to them and they sort of turn to romance novels to understand how to be better in their relationships. Really interesting concept um, and it sort of balances serious topics with light-hearted um, like comic relief moments which I really appreciate and I really liked this iteration in the series. Um, after that, I listened to The Bride Test on audiobook. I've read this book two times already and it only came out last year, so this was my third time rereading it. Um, and I really liked listening to it on audiobook. I thought it really elevates the experience of the story and sort of makes you pick up pick up on things that um, you normally wouldn't like pick up on. You know how when you read a book you sort of glaze over some parts and skip to like the action, um, as much action as there is in a romance novel, um, but I, I loved reading this for a third time. Gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I am a huge fan, honestly, of Helen Huang's books. I can't wait for her third book to come out. I've read The Kiss Quotient and this one several times. This is a really good choice if you're interested in looking f in reading a romance novel by an own voices author. After that, I read, uh, or actually, I kind of embarked upon this Victorian era journey of romance and um, just books set in the past. Um, and I started out that with reading The Duchess Deal by Tessa Dare. Um, this came highly recommended by Peru's Project Reagan at Peru's Project, um, and I enjoyed it. It was, it, like, it was a good time, and I really appreciated the sort of, like, modern banter and, like, more modern conversational style that was included in the novel. I thought that, um, you know, if it had truly been Victorian era writing, I don't think I would have connected as well with the characters, but because um, the people in the book spoke as they do today, you know, with some minor adjustments, I, I felt like I could relate and um, a lot of the humor and stuff was also more applicable to current day. Um, so I liked it. Um, I wouldn't like read it over and over again, but it was enjoyable and worth the read. I will, I think at some point, read the next two books in the series. Um, this is the Girl Meets Duke series and I think she's well known for the series too. So, and I, I've also heard that the next two books are better. So looking forward to that. I gave that a 3.5 out of 5 stars. I read it on my Kindle and I listened to part of it on audiobook. Um, after that, I began my Infernal Devices reread. So I read all, th all three of these books, um, starting with Clockwork Angel, moving on to Clockwork Prince, and then Clockwork Princess. And I do have a reading vlog of me reading Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess pretty much in entirety. Um, I loved rereading the series. Um, each book is better and better. Um, it just builds and builds and builds. I think Clockwork Angel is very much a like set the scene sort of novel and then Clockwork Prince builds on that and is more action oriented and then everything happens in Clockwork Princess and it is truly fantastic um, and I highly recommend rereading this series before reading um, Cassandra Clare's newest novel uh, in like the Shadowhunter Victorian era um, and that is Chain of Gold The Last Hours first book in the Last Hours series. Um, so I gave Clockwork Angel a 3.75 out of 5 on my reread, and then Clockwork Prince a 4 out of 5, and then Clockwork Princess a 5 out of 5 because it is phenomenal. 
Um, and then I finally concluded the month by reading Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. I have been waiting to read this book for so many months and I'm glad I finally picked it up. Um, it's, it's not my favorite of her books um, that's still reserved for the Dark Artifices trilogy um, and Lady Midnight specifically, but this was really good. Um, I, I really like Cassandra Clare's like way of being able to allow me to love and like be very invested in characters from the past who are like no like the the time period in this is so different from present day um even though many of the same issues uh are still you know very relevant to present day but um you know we don't live in the victorian era anymore but um it, it was just a joy to read i really liked all the new characters and what was super cool was reading about um all the people so there's a set of characters in the infernal devices and this is about their children and so reading it all as like a continuum was really cool and i really recommend it um other than that this had a great uh love story as all cassandra clara books do and lots of action um a very intriguing plot and and it sets the stage the ending sets the stage for like a truly epic series coming up so yes that is all the books that i read in the month of may let me know in the comments if you've read any of them and what your thoughts were also please let me know what you read in the month of may what your favorite book was i would love to know and i will see you all very soon bye